The evolution of dingoes is actually really interesting and we'll get into a tie-in with the Tasmanian tiger, the thylacine, by the end of this video. In the last video I talked about how the domestic dog Canis lupus, so gray wolf familiaris, a subspecies of the gray wolf, evolved from the gray wolf as it was domesticated with people. The dingo is actually a dog. Uh, so. We have that lineage that's leading to the modern day dogs. They've diverged from the wolves. At some point, a group essentially becomes feral. A group becomes feral on Australia. That group leads to the modern day dingo. You can see in this phylogenetic tree up here, the dingo is over here nested with the East Asian dogs. The oldest fossil evidence of dingoes on Australia is less than 5,000 years old. We don't necessarily know exactly when they showed up there, but what we do see in the fossil evidence is that they seem to have gotten larger over time. They're close cousins with the New Guinea singing dog, an endangered species that is another type of animal that was essentially a domesticated dog that then became feralized. This is on the island of New Guinea. I'm not sure if feralized was the perfect word there. This paper, they use the word naturalized, so I'm just gonna kind of bring that up here. And they also mention those dogs of the highlands of New Guinea. So I mentioned I'd wrap the Tasmanian tiger, the thylacine, into this. This is what Australia looked like during the last glacial maximum. This is what it looks like today. Between 10 and 12,000 years ago, a lot of that sea level change happened. Now, because the dingo seems to have made it to Australia after that happened, they never ended up making it to Tasmania. Now, I'm not saying that's the only reason the Tasmanian tiger went extinct on Australia, but not Tasmania, but I do think it's probably pretty safe to say, this is controversial, not everybody agrees, but I think it's pretty safe to say that the dingo played a pretty strong role in the extinction of the Tasmanian tiger. Let me make one more thing clear though, that's just referring to the mainland of Australia. When it comes to Tasmania, clearly that was people more recently. We have videos of them in zoos. You should go check them out. Go check out what Colossal is trying to do with bringing them back. Maybe one day you'll get to see a Tasmanian tiger.